I just met with Ray and we were talking about basically just prioritizing uh, everything so that I have a more clear path. But I realized the night before I kind of already did what I needed to do. So I'm going to share that. Basically what I've figured out is that I'm going to have... Um, uh, basically what I want to do is I'm going to start with this podcast. I'm going to interview as many people as possible. Uh, Kyle's social marketing is getting me set up to where I'm going to interview you know, activists and... Um, journalists and, and teachers and just whoever. I've made a whole list for them, uh, but also I just want to get normal people. Just not normal. No one's normal. I just mean other people, people that just live here, you know, uh, starting in Atlanta, obviously. Um, but just basically I've set up a structure and it's going to be past, present, future. I've already told you about this. I don't know. Either way, you're going to hear it. So <laughs> deal with it. Uh, past is just like, you know, where'd you come from? Uh, what was your childhood like? Were there any influential people uh, or events or whatever that helped shape who you are, etc.? And then present, what are you doing with your life right now? You know, where, uh, what do you think is important? What's directly affecting you? What are you trying to do with your life? Um, like, what, what do you, where, where are you right now in the present? And then that'll also give a platform for people to talk about issues that are important to them. It'll give them um, just, I don't know, it'll just be good. So then moving on to future, uh, of course, present will be like the biggest part, hopefully, but it's it's whatever. Some people have really interesting backstories. I just want to give perspective. Anyway, future is going to be, um, you know, what are you what are you going to do? Like, where are you going with your life? What's your goal? What are, your, what are you doing? And then... Uh, what do you see the next five years looking like, like in general? And then what do you think people should focus on or that they're not? Like what's what's not getting attention that we need to deal with in the next few years, pretty seriously, from your perspective? And so I'm just going to ask everybody that. And it's going to be great. Um, do, 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 do. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so anyway, I've got that going. I'm going to do the podcast. Oh, then I'll have like a perspective of an area, in this case, Atlanta. And then I'll be able to say, okay. And then I'll have a lot more information at that point. And I'll be more connected to the community. People will be supporting everything. And also be able to tell people about New Rule and explain how it could help them, maybe uh, get ideas and just kind of pitch it to them. Anyway, then uh, Ray and I decided we want to get a test group. So maybe it's like a school, uh, a teacher, one classroom, something that they can... The students can, like, uh, for example, when the class, say it's, I don't know, uh, 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 literature, social studies, math, something where they can have a project and then um, they can all do research and fill up a learn section on it. And then they can uh, go to the reflect section and, like, talk about all the data they just put in there. And then in the plan section, they come up with a solution. Or, I don't know, maybe it's... Um, the problem is uh, quadratic equations. So people can scour YouTube and everything, or make their own videos explaining how to do how to do the quadratic formula. That's how you say it, right? Quadratic formula equation. One of the two. Anyway, you do that, and that's the learn section. And then people vote up and vote down on the things they find the most helpful. And then in the um, uh, reflect section people can have like conversations and ask questions and talk so that's like all right so learn section is people putting things out there um, like their ideas and then a reflect section people could ask questions like oh, I'm still not understand how do I do this and then people can explain it and break it down in a different way and then just vote up vote down and then um, I don't know what you do with the plan section but I mean it doesn't really matter at that point like that's just two great resources. Um, I'm sure there's a way to use the plan section, like maybe, um, maybe uh, the students could come up with an idea like, for example, uh, have, start a campaign where uh, you get a bunch of math teachers together and you have them each give a presentation on, because they're all teaching out of the same book, right? So have each of them record uh, a video, short videos, on each of their lesson plans and then put them all up on YouTube or whatever or on the, uh, the New Rule site and for every topic covered. And then every class, every year, builds and builds on all the data, all the information, all the ways of explaining it, 
uh, until it's fully satisfied and then people can just come there and it's a great resource for them for their students every year it just builds and builds it's better and better more efficient uh, teachers can every year take things that students struggled with that year and then in the summer record a few videos like filling in the gaps and then slowly and slowly you've got this whole uh, curriculum like really well mapped out and then you can link it all with annotations I don't know there's just a lot of ways to do that but um, the main point is is that it, it can be used for that and if I can do like a small test group of something I'll find out I'll, I'll figure it out and pitch it but anyway if I do that then um, I can see how it flows how it works and then uh, I need to make a bunch of videos to fill out the site well I need to do that first but um, that'll all be done uh, uh, so so um, finish the site I'm gonna be podcasting uh, that'll be like collect listen to who's around me and what they're doing and what they think and feel and where they come from who are these people that I'm uh, trying to help start there and then once I have an idea what the problems are I can pick one start a Kickstarter campaign and the campaign will be for um, going and getting uh, uh, raising money to, to redo the site, make it as pretty as possible, to build an app to make it even easier, more accessible to more people, and then everything else, all the extra money, um, will go into a fund. And then I'm going to pick one topic, or rather, um, everyone can go on the site and uh, we'll, we'll make up a, a, a problem, we'll, we'll call it hashtag... Uh, um, Hashtag NR contest. I don't know. I'm just that's just a placeholder. Maybe that's it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just something, and then everyone can submit uh, a problem that they've started a, 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 a trend on and pop it in one by one in the learn section. And then everyone can like have all the access to all the information. It's all vote up, vote down, like Reddit. And then you've got the reflect section. People can talk about why they think. Um, each problem would be the best use of resources, right? So, uh, how's this going to work? And then, like, uh, what's the most important thing to 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 fix first? How can you use that to leverage time, effort, energy, whatever, into another problem? Well, let's just pick one to start with. What's the most important one to start that's affordable and attainable? Start there. Start small. Pick something, and that's what we'll do. And then. Um, uh, so that's where we have the conversation and in the plan section uh, people just throw up which one you think is the best and why end of story like here's just my submission and then whichever uh, problem ends up being at the top at, at I don't know whatever date we choose is the one that um, we're going to take the money we raised and put it into whatever plan was come up with like we're gonna just try it and see what happens um, and so that's the goal. <laughs> That'll also market new rule. It'll build, it's like a competition that's actually going to have a direct impact on a local community. So it's really local driven. Uh, I can maybe try and get on like a, a radio station or um, I don't know. I'll figure out some way to, to market that. But like, I feel like I know enough people, maybe I can make that happen. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, um, so recap. Podcast, that's going to give me perspective of, of all the people in the community. I'm going to try and go to all the areas that people don't usually hear from, like South Atlanta, uh, maybe Peachtree City, maybe Vinings, maybe uh, West uh, Midtown, Midtown, Buckhead, um, Downtown, East Atlanta Village, Little Five Points, Decatur, uh, Virginia Highlands, you know, all these areas, Cabbage Town. Old Fourth Ward. I want to hear from people who live there what what they think. I'm going to get all these podcasts, and then, hey, that'll all be available for everyone. Everyone can listen and review, and like uh, maybe someone can do statistics on it. Who knows? But anyway, um, get all that, and then uh, do the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, run the competition. Everyone's going to vote on it, and then we're going to go and take care of whatever problem ends up on top. And then I'm going to film every step of the way with all the people involved. We're going to get uh, vlogs from them. We're going to put them up. We're going to do everything we can. It's going to be really, really cool. That's my game plan going forward. So, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at. So. <laughs>